Hello, I'm Mark with Pro Mobility. Today we're going to be going over the Ranger, the Beast version. This chair is a lot different than any other chairs on the market in that it's the SUV of any of the other foldable power wheelchairs. Now the Beast is the most sturdiest of all the Ranger series. It's also the most comfortable and gives you the smoothest ride possible due to all the advanced features. Now I'm going to show you some of those advanced features. That is definitely a lot more comfortable. That's because it's got an extra thick seat cushion here. Wider armrests, the length between the seat cushion and the footrests, and not to mention it's got a bigger footrest, and it's got four air-filled tires giving you a smooth ride. Now the Beast operates and is as comfortable as a full-size wheelchair. And it folds, it folds in one piece, so you don't have to assemble or disassemble anything. When it folds, it's nice and compact, which makes it easy to transport. Now I'm going to show you how to fold the beasts. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure the wheels are pointed out so it doesn't block the chair from when it folds. Then you want to bring up the footrest, simply fold it up and in. Then you want to make sure you open up the latch in the back, like so, and simply push the chair downward. There you go, folds in under five seconds. It's so easy to unfold it, I'm going to do it with one hand. Pull it up, lock the latch, and unfold the footrest. Boom, there you go. Now I'm gonna explain some of the advanced features that the Beast has. First, there's the anti-tip wheels, which is good for when you're going up inclines, hills, or ramps. They're really sturdy, and they provide smooth inclines. They extend by just simply pressing the red button and extending them out, and they can also go back in by simply pressing the red button, and they retract on their own. Now the Beast has the most powerful motor of all the Ranger series. It's got dual motors on each side of the wheel that are 500 watts each. That's 1,000 watts, which will challenge any kind of terrain. Like all the other Ranger series, when the brakes are on, it's in electric mode. But to put it in manual mode, you simply unlock them by pressing the red levers forward, and it puts it in manual mode. Now I can just push it manually. Now what makes the Beast different than any of the Ranger series is that it's got six shock absorbers. You've got two in the back and four in the front, two on each wheel. The Beast has four air-filled tires which are as sturdy as motorcycle tires. The rear tires are 13 and a half inches. That's the biggest tire of the series. The front tire has nine inch tires. This model also comes with a fender on the rear tire for extra protection. Now the Beast comes with two batteries, which is good for up to 30 miles. However, you have the option of getting a third battery, which is good for up to 45 miles. If you choose that option, as you can see, they're already all installed. Yeah. Now before operating the chair, you'll notice that the power cable will not be connected. In order for the power to go on, you simply want to just connect it. This is a one-time thing to any of the batteries. Line up the prongs and simply twist to tighten. That'll turn the chair on. Now to uninstall the battery, you just want to simply twist the cable, pull it out, and we'll, this latch, just press it in and bring the battery out, like so. Each battery weighs about seven pounds. Now I'm going to install the battery. To do so, you just simply slide it into the slot right here. Push it all the way in until you hear the click. That click means it's locked. And just take the cable, line up the prongs, put it in, and twist. And there you go. Although I showed you how to install and remove the batteries, you'll actually never have to do that yourself because the batteries can charge all at the same time through the joystick. And in fact, it can fold and unfold as well with the battery still installed. And this model also comes with a under the seat storage. And inside the bag, you'll see that there's a toolkit, manual, cup holder, the box right here, which has the charger in it. And finally, you've got red reflectors that you would attach to the back. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the charger. You simply wanna take the charger box and the outlet prong Plug it in like so, take the prong part, plug it into any outlets, 
go. And now you want to take the end part. There's three prongs there. You just want to match them to the chair and simply, boom, there you go, install it. And lastly, you want to just turn the on button of the charger box. Zero means off and one means on. Well, let's just say you want to charge the batteries without the chair. You'd simply take the off-board charge cable, which comes with the chair, and plug it into the battery charger. And then this end right here goes right into the battery. So once the charging is done, you simply want to press the charger box off by hitting zero and uninstall the prong piece like so. Plug. It's got a backrest pouch for storage, and it's also got a foldable push handle. Another great feature this chair has is that it comes with a seat belt, providing extra safety. You simply insert until it clicks. Now this chair has armrests that are three inches wide. And the armrest is also adjustable. Just simply lift this latch right here. And as you can see, you can adjust it to your comfort level. And also if you want to get in, you can all the way down and exit or enter the chair just like so. And to lock it into place, you just press the little black latch down. And as you can see, the Beast offers a wide and spacious seat. Now from armrest to armrest, it is 21 inches on the inside and 27 inches overall. Now the length of the chair with the footrest closed is 36 inches. However, when you extend the footrest, like so, it extends to 47 inches. And the Beast has a height of 40 inches. The backrest has a height of 20 inches. The seat cushion is 19 inches in depth. However, it can expand to 20 inches if you lean back. And the Beast has a seat cushion that is four inches thick, which gives you extra comfort. And the length of the top of the seat cushion to the bottom of the footrest is 24 inches. Yeah. The footrest of the Beast is big and wide, and it also provides extra cushioning, which gives it more comfort. On top of that, there's safety bars on each side, which prevents the foot from slipping out. The footrest itself is... 11 inches long and 13 inches wide. Okay, now to install the cup holder, you simply just want to unscrew the little knob right there. And then you want to take out the screw piece, line up the holes of the cup holder into the chair hole, insert the little screw piece like so, and then take the knob Screw it on to the end of the screw piece coming out the other side. Make sure it's nice and tight there. And to lock it into place, simply just want to twist the little black clamp and close it up to tighten it. Okay, now we're going to show you how to install the joystick. You simply want to unscrew the knob part on the end of the screw part. And then take the screw part out. Line the holes up. There's a little hole there underneath the armrest. Just line that up with the joystick holes. And put the screw part in. So it's in all three holes there. And on the other end, the screw will be sticking out. You want to twist the knob part so it's nice and tight. And that makes the joystick pretty steady. And then with the black screw part, you want to screw in the little clamp part. And then to secure it, you just want to make sure it's down nice and tight. Now to, you want to line up the prongs for the wiring of the joystick, like so. Just line up the arrows. It should insert. And just tighten it up by simply twisting it. And the joystick's very user-friendly. To turn it on, simply press the green button right there. And that is the battery indicator. Right now we're on about half. Uh, we've got speeds here, plus means to go accelerate, minus means to decelerate, got a horn, and the same button turns it on and off, and to operate it, you simply just want to 
Turn right if you want to go right, left if you want to go left, back if you want to go back, forward if you want to go forward, and of course you can do a 360. It turns on a dime, as you'll see in a minute. Like other models of the Ranger series, this chair also comes with removable seats and cushions that are washable and breathable. As you can see, Ranger the Beast has a lot of awesome features. Anyways, I'm Mark with PortoMobility.com. For more information, go to portomobility.com. That's P-O-R-T-O mobility.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you around.